now let us implement a boolean function using multiplexer let we have a boolean function like this f of a comma b comma c equal to sigma of 1 comma 2 comma 6 comma 7 by using 8 by 1 multiplexer as well as 4 by 1 multiplexer in the next two, two videos we will see some more complex examples so here the variables are a b c are the variables so sigma means min terms so these are the min terms so first let us implement this boolean function with the help of 8 by 1 multiplexer so 8 by 1 multiplexer means number of inputs are 8 number of outputs are 1 here we have 8 inputs so we can write this as 2 power 3 so the selection lines are number of selection lines are these 3 3 is nothing but number of selection lines here if you take the example here we have 3 variables a comma b comma c in an 8 by 1 multiplexer we will have 3 selection lines so now we can take this a b c r as 3 selection lines so let us see the implementation here we have 8 by 1 mux the inputs are we have 8 inputs from i0 to i7 8 by 1 multiplexer means we will have 3 selection lines so the selection lines are s2 s1 s0 so in this problem a b c are nothing but uh, the variables so a b c are nothing but the selection lines a b c r means selection lines now what is the problem here sigma of 1 comma 2 comma 6 comma 7 so now i1 i2 i6 i7 so these four inputs value is 1 so if you see here i1 i2 i6 i7 value is 1 whereas remaining inputs remaining min terms such as 0 next to 3 4 5 so input values are 0 so i0 i3 i4 i5 are connected to 0 so this y is nothing but output so in this way we can implement this boolean function with the help of 8 by 1 multiplexer now let us see using 4 by 1 multiplexer so 4 by 1 multiplexer means number of inputs are 4 number of outputs are this one so we can write this 4 as 2 power 2 so this 2 is nothing but number of selection lines but in the problem we have 3 boolean variables 3 variables a b c but here the selection variables are only 2 only 2 so out of a b c we can take 2 variables as selection variables and another variable as input variable so that is our choice so we can take either a b as the selection variables and c as the input variable or we can take a as the input variable b c as the selection variable or a c as the selection variable b as the input variable that is our choice in our example so this is nothing but our 4 by 1 multiplexer now we are implementing with the help of 4 by 1 multiplexer so the inputs are i0 i1 i2 i3 so we have four inputs and the output is y so here s1 s0 are the selection inputs assumes that b c are nothing but selection variables so b c are nothing but selection variables whereas we will consider this variable a as input variable so now we have to implement the table we have to provide the implementation table so now let us see the implementation table so in the implementation table just we have to write the input variable column so here what is the input variable a is the input variable suppose if a equal to 0 then we can write this as a bar why because this is sigma sigma means sum of products we know about sum of products so bar means 0 whereas actual variable means 1 complemented variable means 0 so next a equal to 1 means a so this is nothing but our input variable so here we have to write the multiplexer inputs so here what are the inputs i0 i1 i2 i3 are the inputs so we know about multiplexer suppose if the selection inputs are 0 0 then i0 will be selected so that means 
if the inputs are 0 0 then i0 will be selected if the inputs are 0 1 then i1 will be selected if the selection inputs are 1 0 then i2 will be selected if the selection inputs are 1 1 then i3 will be selected and it will be produced as the output okay so if you see here so here a value is 0 so 0 0 triple 0 in decimal notation is 0 next to 0 0 1 in decimal notation is 1 0 1 0 in decimal notation is 2 so likewise 0 1 2 3 next if you take here 1 0 0 1 0 0 in decimal notation is 4 1 0 1 in decimal notation is 5 4 5 6 7 if you see the problem 1 2 6 7 are the mean terms so we have to circle them so circle 1 2 6 7 if we observe i naught column here we don't have any circle we don't have any circle so i naught value is 0 so we have to connect 0 to i naught i naught is 0 next if we observe i1 one, 1 is enclosed in the circle what is this one <coughs> this one is nothing but a bar a bar so what is i1 a bar so this i1 input is a bar so a bar input is connected to i1 so whenever the selection inputs are 0 1 then we will get this a bar as the output next 2 6 both are enclosed inside the inside the circle so what is 2 2 means a bar plus what is 6 6 means a a bar plus a means we know the formula a plus a bar equal to 1 so what is i2 value 1 so 1 is connected to i2 so whenever the selection inputs are 1 0 then we will get i2 as the output next what is i3 7 is enclosed inside the circle so what is this 7 this 7 means a so a is connected to i3 so in this way we can implement with the help of the 4 by 1 multiplexer in the next video we will see uh, some more complex examples we will implement uh, those boolean functions with the help of the multiplexer